Okay, so we have two, uh, we have two mental objects, uh, and we're given the masses of both objects. We're given um, some physical properties. Um, so we have the length of one cube, and we have the radius of a sphere. And we're going to calculate the densities, and we're going to see if within one percent, if they have the same density, and if they have similar densities, then um, we're going to come to the conclusion that the metal, the two objects, are made of the same metal. Um, so. Um, first thing is a cube, right? So the volume of a cube can be solved by multiplying the length by the width by the height, right? But also the edge of the same cube, so it's really just the length cube. So the volume of this cube is three centimeters cube, um, which is twenty um, point zero centimeters. Cubed. Um, so then the density of this, so I'll call it d one, is going going to be 140.4 grams over 27.0 centimeters cubed and to three centimeters um, the density is 5.20 and then we're going to affect the, um, the, the uh, uncertainty, right? So we're going to assume the densities are accurate to plus or minus 1%. So 1.52 is 0 0.052. So that means that uh, the density, uh, we have to treat it as being as low as 5, I'm not right, 5.148 uh, to 5.2. Five two grams per centimeters cubed. So that's what that means. So down here, except we have the rate, we say that it is a uh, a sphere, right? So the volume of a sphere we get by four thirds pi r cubed, right? So when you plug in one point four two into r, so we're gonna get four thirds. Um, you can do a few decimal points. Pi, 3.1459, and then we'll cube 1.42 centimeters. I'm running out of here, so I'll, I'll, I'll consider over here on the on the left, right? So the vol volume is going to 3 centimeters, um, 11 point nine nine three seven centimeters cubed. So then the Density, I'll put the density and I'll keep it black. Density is going to be 61.6 grams over 11.9937 centimeters cubed. And we're going to get all of this over a little bit. There. I know I just moved the math, but I need some room. Um, density is going to be. 5.14 so figures. Um, again, we're going to factor the error, right? So plus or minus 0 0.0514. So to be able to see, see that, um, I'm just going to calculate the upper limit, right? Because our average density is for the density calculated for object 2 is lower than the density calculated for object 1. But the error, so one, so let's say 5.14 plus or minus 0 0.0514, if we were to say that the upper bounds of that, right, so the upper bounds, so this could be anywhere from um, 5.09 something something to the upper bounds of this density, assuming that it's accurate within 1%, would be 5.19, no, 1.14. But you'll notice that the density for two overlaps with the calculated density for one within that one percent error. So because when you're factoring in the the uncertainty or the assumption that the densities that we calculate are accurate to plus or minus one percent, because they overlap, we can uh, statistically or uh, within error they are the same. Um, so we can we can draw the conclusion that the two objects are made from the 